OK, well, this afternoon we didn't see a more of those clouds, but the rain pretty much was out of here and it looks like we'll continue to stay dry on into the night because clouds are also beginning to head out and we we're going to see very clear skies, but also things are going to be a lot more comfortable for the evening. But let's take a look at our almanac from yesterday. Cool temperatures in place, at least during the afternoon, high of 66. Our low was at 59 degrees because of all the clouds that were in place. It kept us from really dropping too much and definitely not nowhere near our normal low, which is at 49. Our record high back in the year 2002 at 91. Our record low back in the year of 1982 at 29 degrees. And sunrise now at 718, sunset at 817. Well, a look at your highs for today. 78 in Iron Mountain, upper 80s or 70s also as you head into Escanaba. 77 in Manistique, 73 in Marquette, and lower 70s showing up across the Keweenaw Peninsula and the Porcupine Mountains. Winds breezy out of the west, 22 in uh, Houghton at 14 in Marquette, 12 in Munising and over in Ironwood at 16 miles per hour right now. But we are expecting those to weaken over the next hour or so, and that should really get out of here not only just for tonight, but tomorrow. It should be too breezy for us as we head on into the day. Well, a look at our headlines tonight should be clearer and more comfortable for the area by tomorrow. Partly cloudy skies do return to the area and temperatures will be a bit on the warm side, mid to upper 70s for afternoon highs and the rain. It does come back. We'll be watching out for that heading on into Saturday and that will be the only day over the weekend. It looks like we'll watch out for the rain because as we get on into Sunday, we start to clear out yet again and going on into the next work week, noticing more of a fall like uh, feel to the air heading into Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday, but we'll get into that just a bit. Let's take a look at our setup. Low pressure working its way through the Great Lakes. That less humid air coming in on the back side of it. That is going to provide a very comfortable feel for us tonight and also heading on into tomorrow. High pressure moving off towards the east, giving us more of a southwesterly wind heading on into the day tomorrow, which will help to bring in some of that warmth that we'll notice heading on into Friday afternoon, but not going to be nearly as warm as we head on into Saturday because we'll have clouds and rain in place. And once that starts to head off towards the east, well, we do start to see more of that sunshine by Sunday, which helps the things to warm up, probably keeping the warmer air mass in place just one more day on Monday before really seeing that fall like air come in by the latter portions of next week. But here's a look at your future cast model. Very clear for this evening and mostly clear tomorrow morning, but then we'll see a few more clouds throughout the afternoon. Clouds really building for tomorrow night. Slight chance of a few sprinkles, but really seeing the best chances come in as we head on into Saturday and then by Saturday evening, seeing everything move off towards the east, quieting down, and then Sunday should not be too bad of a day for us. Here's a look at tonight. We'll drop down into the lower 50s at 51 degrees for your low. Cooling off for sure. More of those lighter winds on the way. Tomorrow, a mix of sun and clouds with winds out of the southwest between 10 to 15. 76 in Launce at 75 showing up in Ontonagon. Upper 70s in Crystal Falls and in Iron Mountain. 75 in Escanaba and Manistique. Munising will top off at 77. Marquette at 75 and Florence at 77. The forecast tomorrow does feature uh, plenty of sunshine, especially earlier on, but then more clouds throughout the day. And then tomorrow night, watching out for some of those showers and storms to make their way in and definitely noticing more of them as we head on into the day on Saturday with a high of only 60 degrees. Now Sunday will top off at sun 70 with more of that sun making its way back into the region. But look at next week. We start off more on the warm side at 74, but then afterwards really cooling off Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday, either in the upper 50s or the lower 60s. Not only just seeing the cool air during the day, but also noticing it at night as we'll dip down closer to that 30 degree mark as we'll dip all the way down to 43 degrees by Tuesday morning. So much cooler days ahead of us over the next few days. Yes, we do see more of that milder air in place, except on Saturday. Yes, because of the clouds and rain, not going to be the best of days for us at all. But we do get one day or we do uh, really start to at least see more of that sun as we head on into Sunday with temperatures warming back into the 70s before noticing more of that cooler air arriving by next Tuesday.